we're really trying to accept the challenge uh, head on. Uh, how do we create that community of 2050? We've been at this over seven years, the development team, and the city uh, you know, has been engaged for some time too, since 1998, when they came together with U.S. Steel, who was trying to find a way to redevelop the site before we were involved, before this company was involved. And a document was created called From Steel Town to Hometown. And that document was the result of charrettes and focus groups held with the community at the community level. I think this was like 1998. Okay. And from that document, a certain level of density was established to go forward with the project, just like 4,500 dwelling units, which is not very much for a site that large. Now the community um, has been adjacent to the site for a hundred years. So they started building, making steel in 1901. And the site has always been physically cut off from the community with this long white wall and the steel making operations. So there was no way to get to the water from the neighborhood and you wouldn't have wanted to anyways with those types of steel making activities going on. Lakeside is, you know, the next step in the in the Burnham plan is the way you can think about it. Our, you know, our architects at, at SOM and uh, and Sasaki who helped plan the site uh, really took, have taken that to heart. The Burnham plan, our plan for for Lakeside, 600 acre site, and when you boil it down, we're going to give uh, 130 acres over to parks and, and open space. You know, right to the Chicago Park District and and, and the city of Chicago. Um, that's what we should be doing. That's that's the responsible thing. The ideas that we've we've been exploring um, with SOM and, and a team of people from around the world uh, really have been sort of focused on how do we do this? You know, how do we plan this correctly? How do we execute this correctly? Um, you know, real estate development operations such as ours, you don't get a chance to plan a 600-acre site on Lake Michigan every day. The site's got a lot of great features to it. It's got a lot of great opportunities. You know, just looking at it uh, as 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 a piece of land, mm -hmm. um, and so uh, we sort of focused on what are, what are those features? You know, the two and a half miles of uh, of, of Lake, Lake Michigan shoreline, uh, the fact that the site is uh, landfill, you know, and uh, built from uh, remnants of the steel making operation. Those sort of natural features tell you something about the site um, and tell you what, what what's possible and what's not possible. Trying to create value and um, improve everyone's quality of life. Mm -hmm. That's very rewarding for me. Yeah. Where people maybe wouldn't have had anyone pay attention to them because the South Side has pretty much been neglected and overlooked, mm -hmm. and now we're really paying attention. We're always thinking about the engagement of the community. We don't overlook or forget that ever. So for me, that makes me feel like we're good business people, and that's why I really like what I do because I like our approach. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel like we have the right ethics. There's lots of buildings we can work on and, uh, and develop, and those are fun, uh, but when you get to uh, get a chance to make, uh, make a difference in a neighborhood or in a city, you know, uh, it's a whole different uh, endeavor, and that's, that's what Lakeside is. It's a, it's a chance to make a difference. I think Lakeside. that we can really create a place that is like no other in the region, where you have Lake Michigan as the best asset, all this open space, and you will be able to live there work there, shop there, recreate there, and not have to have four cars per household, mm -hmm. and live in a healthier way, which sure. is good for just human beings overall, right, at a basic level, yeah. and then be in a place that's so beautiful. Because once you're on the site, you can really see the natural beauty of it, and because it's a landfill, it's a peninsula that sits out on Lake Michigan, you've got this gorgeous view back downtown. You can't really see the city anywhere else like that.